nursery rhymes they are part of education especially in english medium schools and uh, even these days because the same syllabus is being taught in private and uh, public schools so they are part of uh, both private and public schools as part of education we have discussed them in 141 and there we saw how females how women are represented in nursery rhymes now this time we will see how nursery rhymes present males what image of males is created by rhymes so first of all let me remind you what is nursery rhymes they are verses chanted to small children somebody else chants them to the children children aur banda bachcho ko sunata hai such as grand mamas teachers and elders at home for example this is very a famous nursery rhyme humpty dumpty you see originally it was a riddle and from riddle it has become a rhyme and uh, this is character that is of egg shape and see how this uh, poem tells us about it humpty dumpty sat on a wall humpty dumpty had a great fall all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put humpty together again humpty was an egg when it was broken so nobody was able to collect it to combine it again so this was example of a nursery rhyme but our purpose is to see how nursery rhymes are used to introduce men to young uh, children their purpose is to expose young ear to rhythm to music of language this is basic aim they spread through word of mouth they are not written they are part of oral literature though later they are written they are published okay but they were spread if we go to their history they were spread through word of mouth orally from generation to generation and uh, like songs riddles proverbs tales they all are part of the same uh, kind of literature so nursery rhymes rhymes are one of them they are often detached from their original context by telling and retelling so nobody can find out origin of all of these oral uh, yanras or of these oral type of literature but interestingly constant exposure leaves a permanent effect on young mind this is the point that we want to focus on in this module i introduce you to what nursery rhymes are what is their origin what is their basic purpose and origin and history but a secondary purpose for which they are used is that they because children are exposed to them repeatedly frequently again and again at home at school nursery school etc so they definitely shape thinking of the children it gets involved in shaping our thoughts about ourselves and about others thinking about being a male a boy and a female or a girl also begins here if you remember in the beginning modules i told you that our gender is defined 
at home and during childhood when we are socialized by our parents so this uh, is in a way this yanra nursery rhymes they are doing the same thing which our parents do in our childhood they make our concept as being a male or boy or as being a female or a girl for example i would show you playing cards so a few words on playing cards first language is a symbolic system a symbol is something that refers to something and it has no direct link with the symbol for example dove is symbol of peace flag of a nation is symbol of unity autonomy etc there are many non language symbols which carry meaning like language so if language is a symbolic system its symbols its words carry meaning so there are other systems which are non language but they are also meaning carrying system numbers mathematical numbers 1 2 3 and images on cards playing cards because we are talking about playing cards they also convey meaning and that is social meaning this meaning doesn't come from numbers and images directly it has nothing to do with that but we human beings the users we attach them meaning we give them meaning particular meaning that's why i have called it a social meaning and this social meaning shows how we consider males and females how we give different ranks to people okay playing cards are essentially are historically linked with elite class people but uh, these days you know everybody it is not necessary that the person is elite or non elite everybody plays cards okay having this brief introduction to playing cards and the symbols which they carry now we come to our topic how they show men see these are printed images on the cards here we have king and queen okay so see what type of image they create in our mind symbol of power right and uh, similarly the cards are number numbers are in front of us they are printed on the cards they show ranks this is the rhyme about playing cards the tarts a burger like thing that is filled up with fruit etc the tarts the queen of hearts she made some tarts the queen you see on the playing card she made some tarts all on a summer's day on one summer day she prepared this food the knave of hearts a servant comes he stole the tarts and took them clean away without any problem that knave stole the tarts and the queen was helpless see this is the point then the king comes the king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full so beat so much that his body was swollen okay he beat the knave for this theft the knave of hearts brought back the tart and vowed he'd steal no more now what this nursery rhyme shows females are dependent on 
male's power. They can't defend themselves. This is the message which is silently conveyed to the young child. Then see, this is another nursery rhyme. I had a little husband. I had a little husband no bigger than my thumb. Ba sound is silent. We will pronounce it as thumb. I put him in a pin pot, a small pot, and there I bid him drum. I bought a little handkerchief to wipe his little nose and a pair of little garters to tie his little hose. Now see, in this time, a girl, imagine that she would have a husband and she would love husband like a, uh, like a, you see, in uh, childhood, girls play with dolls. They themselves define that this is groom and this is bride. So she imagines that if she had a husband, she would love husband in this way. So through this nursery rhyme, the message of heterosexuality is being conveyed that opposite sex can become husband and wife. We conclude from these examples that children love to sing and love to hear nursery rhymes and parents and teachers take opportunity to convey certain messages through nursery rhymes to the young mind. And this is the way they socialize young children in childhood. They tell them what society expects from them as men and women.